హలో ఆస్పిరెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు ఇండియా ఫర్ ఐఏఎస్ దిస్ ఈజ్ మంజునాథ్ ముదోల్ టాపిక్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ వీడియో ఈజ్ జియో హెరిటేజ్ సైట్స్ దిస్ టాపిక్ ఫాల్స్ అండర్ జిఎస్ వన్ పేపర్ జియోగ్రఫీ పార్ట్ జిఎస్ వన్ పేపర్ జియోగ్రఫీ పార్ట్ విత్ ఇన్ జియోగ్రఫీ దిస్ క్యాన్ బి స్టడీడ్ అండర్ జియో మార్ఫోలజీ జియో మార్ఫోలజీ దిస్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫర్ ఫిలిమ్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ ఫిలిమ్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ ಹಾಗೆಯೇ ಈ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಕೆ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಫಿಲಿಮ್ಸ್ಗು ತುಂಬ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಫಿಲಿಮ್ಸ್ಗೂ ಈ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ತುಂಬ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಜಿಯೋ ಹೆರಿಟೇಜ್ ಸೈಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಜಿಯೋಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಮಾನ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೂ ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಡಿಕ್ಲೇರ್ಡ್ ಜಿಯೋ ಹೆರಿಟೇಜ್ ಸೈಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಪಾಂಡವುಲ ಗುತ್ತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಾಮ್ಗರ್ ಫ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಜಿಯೋಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಸರ್ವೆ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಿಲಿಮ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಪಾಂಡವುಲ ಗುತ್ತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎನಿಸಿಯಂಟ್ ಜಿಯೋಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಮಾರ್ವೆಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಓಲ್ಡರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯನ್ ಹಿಲ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಡಿಕ್ಲೇರ್ಡ್ ಅಫಿಷಿಯಲಿ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ದಿ ಸೋಲ್ ಜಿಯೋ ಹೆರಿಟೇಜ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ತೆಲಂಗಾಣ ಇತ್ತೀಚೆಗೆ ತೆಲಂಗಾಣ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಪಾಂಡವುಲ ಗುತ್ತ ಅಥವಾ ಪಾಂಡವುಲ ಕೊಂಡ ಎಂಬ ಒಂದು ಗುಡ್ಡ ಪ್ರದೇಶವನ್ನು ಜಿಯೋಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಹೆರಿಟೇಜ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಅಂತ ಡಿಕ್ಲೇರ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಪಾಂಡವುಲ ಗುತ್ತ ಎಂಬ ಸೈಟು ಹಿಮಾಲಯಕ್ಕಿಂತ ತುಂಬ ಹಳೆಯದಾದ ಒಂದು ಭೌಗೋಳಿಕ ಪ್ರದೇಶವಾಗಿರುತ್ತದೆ ಇನ್ ಎಡಿಷನ್ ಟು ದೀಸ್ ದ ರಾಜಸ್ಥಾನ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಡೆಸಿಗ್ನೇಟ್ಸ್ ರಾಮ್ಗರ್ ಖ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಬಾರಾನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಜಿಯೋ ಹೆರಿಟೇಜ್ ಸೈಟ್ ತೆಲಂಗಾಣದೊಂದಿಗೆ ರಾಜಸ್ಥಾನ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ರಾಮ್ಗರ್ ಕುಳಿ ಎಂಬ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರದೇಶವನ್ನು ಭೌಗೋಳಿಕ ಪರಂಪರೆಯ ಸ್ಥಳ ಅಂದರೆ ಜಿಯೋ ಹೆರಿಟೇಜ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಅಂತ ಡೆಸಿಗ್ನೇಟ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ನೌ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬ್ರಿಫ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಪಾಂಡವುಲ ಗುತ್ತ ಆರ್ ಪಾಂಡವುಲ ಕೊಂಡ this pandavula gutta site has a rich rock shelters it showcases habitation from the mesolithic period to medieval times this rock shelter also has paleolithic cave paintings so in this image we can see here the paleolithic cave paintings done by the people of that time so this painting offers insights into the prehistoric life and in this uh, pandavala gutta cave paintings we can visualize the various uh, paintings of various wildlife species such as bison antelope tiger and leopard along with symbols like swastiks circles squares and weapons apart from animals and symbols the paintings are also adorned with geographical or geometrical designs and impressions and the colors that are used are green red yellow and white pigments because of this attractive cave paintings and uh, hilly topography the pandavula gutta or pandavula konda has been one of the sort of the destination for rock climbers so this is all about pandavula gutta its geographic features and prehistoric rock paintings so then friends you have to comment so which are all rock cut shelters in india have cave paintings now we will briefly study about the ramgar crater which has also been declared as the geo heritage site by rajasthan government so in the following image we can see the ramgar crater so this figure shows the ramgar crater this ramgar crater was formed approximately around 160 million years ago it was formed due to meteor impact so this meteor impact created a 3 km diameter crater so in the following figure we can see the 3 km diameter crater formed by the meteor impact from the ecological and environmental angle this geological site is very important as because it provides essential ecosystem services and it contributes significantly to the region's ecological balance and biodiversity so considering its biodiversity and ecological significance rajasthan government declares the ramgarh crater as the ramgarh conservation reserve under the wildlife protection act 1972 in addition to this this ramgarh crater also has the pushkar talab complex within the crater and this pushkar talab has been designated as wetland under the wetland conservation and management rules 9 2017
Now we will look into what exactly are geo heritage sites or national geological monuments. So coming to geo heritage, so geo heritage refers to sites or areas with significant scientific, educational, cultural, or aesthetic value due to their geological features. So these are the areas or sites because of their geological features and they have got importance with respect to science, education and cultural values. Coming to the characteristics of these geo heritage sites, these sites may showcase unique rock formations or fossils or landscapes which are crucial for educational purpose, research or cultural significance. They often contribute to local and regional economies as tourist destinations. By considering these educational research and cultural significance of geoheritage site, the Geological Survey of India declares geoheritage sites or national geological monuments for further protection and maintenance. So this is all about geoheritage sites or national geological monuments and on what basis they have been declared as geoheritage sites and the institute or organization which declares such sites or such geological sites as a geoheritage sites. So we came to know that the geological sites are declared as geoheritage sites by Geological Survey of India. So it is also important to know briefly about the Geological Survey of India from the examination point of view. Why? Because UPSC every alternate year asking questions on such institutes which are in India. So coming to the Geological Survey of India. So it was established in the year 1851. So it was initially tasked with the locating the coal deposits for the British Indian Railways. Its headquarters is in Kolkata. It operates as an attached office to the Ministry of Mines. Its primary functions include the creation and updating of the national geoscientific information and assessment of mineral resources in India. So this is all about the Geological Survey of India. So based on the topic that we have discussed so far, so here we have provided one prelims practice question. Go through the question and comment your answer. The answer and detailed explanation for this question is available in the PDF handout. The PDF is available in the Telegram channel. So the link to Telegram channel is provided in the description box. You can join Telegram channel and download the PDF. The PDF also contains the detailed explanation of this topic. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, happy learning.